In the course of doing work to launch my brand even further, Subverse, something that I've been working really, really hard on for the past several years, eventually this Kickstarter was brought to my attention because it's starting to interfere with my ability to conduct interviews as well as fundraise. Subverse, as it's legally owned and controlled in the United States, is a media brand for which I have the YouTube channel and one of the, uh, I don't know whatever you call them, but there's a top level domains, the, the primary ones the you know, the most prominent are .NET, org, and com. And early on, we chose the .NET on purpose, right? We thought subverse.net would be the better choice. The website that we have, subverse.net, it's active. It's been active for years, but I shifted to producing YouTube videos because, you know, admittedly launching a website is something I'm not as an, uh, I don't, I don't necessarily have the expertise, but we have been running the site for years. Our oldest article goes back four years, to which my brother, Chris, uh, you, you know him as Reactor on YouTube, if you follow Reactor. Uh, we've got articles going back. We used to generate a couple hundred thousand unique impressions per month uh, before uh, I actually you know, came in, because my brother launched this by himself. Uh, we launched Su- Subverse, the YouTube channel, a while ago. We used to have a bunch of other videos that we actually have privated, because they, you know, we're, we, we changed the brand, made it streamlined, and officially started producing content with expert interviews. We did an interview with Brett Weinstein back uh, over a year ago. So this is the official Subverse brand as it exists in our evergreen madness why Brett Weinstein left. But in the past, uh, I guess, couple weeks, this uh, Kickstarter, which is based in the UK, called Subverse popped up, and it's actually gaining a ton of traction. They also are on Steam, which both of these services are in the US. Now, this is starting to become a a big problem for me because of the considerable considerable amount of time and resources I've put into growing and building Subverse to now be associated with a porn game. It's actually really devastating to to what I'm working on. You know, uh, there's a a lot of important things to go through. For one, uh, the main point of this video, we are now entering legal battle territory. And that's why I'm making this video, which, which may be a bad thing. I have no idea. The first thing I did was I went to the Discord for Subverse and calmly and politely said, you know, this is becoming an issue for me. A bunch of people said it doesn't matter. They're based in the UK. It, that's, that's true for the UK. And unfortunately, I'm not a millionaire like, you know, I'm not, I'm not like Disney. It's actually really easy to apply for international trademarks and things like that. Unfortunately, I'm one, one person working with no days off to try and build a brand. So I don't have a filing for any international territories, but I do own the trademark in the United States. Um, which is, it's complicated. So, so basically the first thing I did was I reached out to them asking if they'd be willing to change their name, uh, slightly for a U.S. release to which I was told no. Uh, I sent a DM to them on Twitter to which I said, you know, it's, it's interfering with my brand and would you consider changing the name? And I got a less than polite response from the studio. It was snarky and rude. There's the, you know, so, so ultimately what ended up happening is the studio told me, Don't something to the effect of this is not how you solve these problems. Don't go ranting on our discord, which is not what I did. They said, don't send us Twitter DMS, which I did because actually, yes, before you enter legal battle territory, you send a message to someone and say, Hey, here's what's happening. And would you, would you kindly, uh, they didn't want to do that. I, I would, I would say that my response was rather stern. Uh, Effectively, I'm not going to give up four years of the work I've done with no days off to make this work because they just decided to launch their, their porn game while they'll absolutely be able to operate in any territory they want outside of the United States, there's going to be interference as they've already displaced me on, on Google search. So one of the reasons we're entering legal battle territory, I actually have retained a lawyer. It's cost me thousands of dollars and it's likely going to cost me thousands more is that I've put, been put in a position where I have to make one of two choices because this, this uh, porn studio, their description, not mine, they, they call themselves car, uh, crappy cartoon porn. That's how he referred to himself because they've decided to launch a game uh, using the same brand as mine, which is a made up word. Subverse is not a word, or at least the very least, very least you could say it's an obsolete word from the 15th century because they've decided to launch a game of the same name, even though their, their company is called studio Fow, It's now put me in a position where responses are going unanswered for interview requests. Because when you Google search subverse, you no longer get my site or YouTube channel. You actually get porn videos. Uh, so that's been pretty bad for me. Uh, in a conversation I had with Sargon of Akkad yesterday, he said, congratulations on your, your, your fundraiser. Didn't you just smash some, some huge crowdfunding? No, I didn't. I've been self-funding Subverse for the past several years. 
and uh, it's been really tough. It's actually Subverse by Fout Interactive. So again, I want to make it clear. Yes, I understand they're based in Manchester, in the UK. Insofar as any legal battle will go, it will have to do with the fact that Studio Fow, I don't know if it's a partner or how it works. Uh, it's a North American uh, company and they will have a North American release. So at the very least, if I end up getting displaced off Google simply because they've launched this, then so be it. I lose, I suppose. But uh, as it pertains to uh, Steam, likely won't be the issue. And it's, and it's rather complicated. One of, the, one of the net detriments to this is that due to Studio Fow's unwillingness to make an alteration to the name in the U.S., for one, they said, send us your lawyers, which means I had no choice but to retain a lawyer, which cost me thousands of dollars and is likely going to cost me substantially uh, more resources, which is draining my ability to produce journalism. It's also forced me to dox myself. I've had to officially publish my personal information in, in, in line with filing applications with USPTO as well as just other areas that have made me completely open to my, my private life. Look, I've spent years working on Subverse. It's officially been the brand we've been trying to stand behind. I have a video from 2016 in which it's a virtual reality video using the brand Subverse, which has 138,000 views. It's a virtual experience of the Cubs being outside Wrigley Field as the Cubs win the World Series. The Cubs weren't playing at Wrigley when this happened, so we were outside with all the fans, and it was exciting and amazing. One of the things that we've been consistently working on is... You know, the goal for Subverse was to always be more of a full service shop. I, I, I wanted to make something inspired by my time at Vice, the things I learned from Vice, the things I observed from Shane Smith, and a lot of things I think they did wrong. One of the things that I've been pitching for a long time is interactive virtual experiences. When you are not re- wealthy and you don't have the backing of major massive multinational corporations and you're actually fighting against them as they seek to censor your content, sometimes the best you can do is a $300 VR camera. But the pitch we, ac- we actually put together is virtual interactive documentaries, meaning you would have a virtual experience where you can choose which path you want to take as you explore certain documentaries. I recognize that we don't have any publicly branded video game content out so far, but my brother has released video game demos in the past. Uh, in the past several months, uh, actually months before Studio Fow actually launched. I'm not going to try and play any silly games where I claim that we've publicly launched video games, but it's actually in the pipeline being worked on some simple side games. Ultimately, the point is Subverse is the brand that me and my brother have been using with the attempt to just produce what we produce, which includes gaming content, which we've actually been navigating uh, single level narrative uh, first person games. My brother's actually purchased assets a year, two years ago because we've been trying to do this. We're just not rich people. And, and ultimately what it comes down to is I don't have the ability to necessarily combat something like this when confronted with it. And what that means is after all of these years, I am now faced with a very, very difficult position. Again, they can operate However they see, you know, see fit with the UK, I get it. We didn't have the capabilities to, to file an international trademark. Unfortunately, they're now starting to operate in the US. They've, they've raised substantial income, resources I don't have to compete with. And so I have to make a choice. Do I just stop? Do I say, okay, what can we do? I'm, not, I'm, I'm no longer getting responses for interview requests. When, you, when, when people are saying, what's Subverse? And you Google it, we're no longer what Subverse is. And that's, that's a normal course of business, I understand. And that's why I politely asked them to, to alter their name for the U.S. release, to which they, they apparently didn't want to do. And they said, just send us your lawyers and we'll give you a response. Okay, well, the reason I'm making this video, I guess, is so that if I send a letter to them, one of the biggest pitfalls is they publish it and say, we're being sued by this guy, he's trying to steal our name or something like that. And so before we move forward, as I've already had to spend this money, I've already reached out to them. I'm now at the point where I have to tell everyone this is happening. This is why it's happening. And I can either choose to abandon my four year brand, which has been blood, sweat and tears and, you know, endless work with no days off, as well as me sinking my own, my own money into this. Or I can say, OK, we're going to file. And, and hopefully what ends up happening is this company says, their, 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 their company name is Studio Fow Interactive. I, I don't understand why they're using the name Subverse, but hopefully they just decide it's not worth it to, to get into this fight and they just alter the name for some reason. It's a game with busty women. It's, a, it's I guess, my understanding is a porn game. Uh, in, the, in the comments, you can see that someone's actually brought me up, I believe maybe more than one person, to which their response is, we're not concerned with that. So here I am. I can't compete with porn. 
and and I know it's funny, right? Like porn, porn on the internet is a funny su- subject, but but admittedly, there's literally nothing I can do to compete with a porn video game from a porn company. It is it you know Pornhub is repeatedly featured in memes and all of these things, and I am a small hundred thousand subscriber channel on YouTube with a, a, a site that's been you know uh, operating nationally that we've produced documentaries. We've got hundreds of thousands of views. The brand is, is firmly in my grasp and under my control and filed under my name, but. If they choose, as so long as they choose to do this and operate in the U.S., we've been displaced. It's a cultural issue where I'm going to have to have a lawyer see to what extent Kickstarter and these other platforms can continue using our trademark. It's a made up word. So I want to explain uh, some, some other things. For one, Vice, the company Vice has been slammed repeatedly for suing people for using the name Vice. There was a YouTuber going by the name Vice. He got his channel taken down. You're literally using your na- the name Vice, so you have to understand that when you're producing media, and they do too, then there is an infringement issue there. But there was a band called Vice Versa that received a legal notice from Vice, and a, and a lot of people said, hey man, that's not cool, Vice Versa is clearly different. Unfortunately for me, Subverse is a made-up word. It is a made-up word that by any, you know, when you look it up in the dictionary, it's, ob- it's considered obsolete, last use, the 15th century or something like that. And so the better anal- uh, analogy as to what this ends up being is, Imagine if you had a company in the U.S. called Coca-Cola, and then someone in the U.K. launched Coca-Cola. Coke obviously has the resources to file their international trademarks to which they do own in various countries. But it's a made-up word. That means the U.K. company would not be able to operate under that name in the U.S., and this is very common, actually, that companies have to change their name. Because the response to me was immediately, send us your lawyers, that means literally the only thing I could do is hire a lawyer. If they're not willing to engage in a conversation and the response to me is rather, I don't know, a bit rude, because then, then I don't know what else I can do. So it's already cost me money, money that could have been well spent producing documentaries or doing interviews or th- and things of that nature. I do want to point some things out, though, that um, give me pause as to the intent of what the company is doing. While I don't, I think the most likely outcome as to why this is happening is a, is a coincidence. I'm not sure where or how they, they decided to use that name. For us, the name meant a few things because I was pitching a TV show to various networks through my talent agency called Subverse. The idea was a com- was a play on universe and subversive, and we thought Subverse made sense that it's kind of like the, the pitch I presented was I was sitting in a cafe, and across the street from where I was sitting, there were arched scuff marks on a wall. To the average person, it means nothing. They walk past that, and they think it's a dirt grime. But to me, I'm a skateboarder. I understood that beneath the universe that lies all around us are hidden realities we can't understand. And the pitch for my show was to explore subcultures. So that was essentially what like the name meant to us, the universe, the subculture, the subversive. And that's what we went with and decided to use it. It's also, you know, verse and universe. It, it falls in line with a lot of the content we do, politics, expert interviews, and science, a lot of science. You can see that a lot of the videos we do are on tech, science, as well as the interviews we've done have been science related because it's something we're very passionate about. Now, for whatever reason, they decided to call their game subverse. And again, it's in the UK. I get it. I don't have the resources to to do international or anything like that. It's now bleeding off into the US. I I recently tried doing a story where I reached out to someone for comment, which I'm not going to get too much into. And they asked me my name and then stopped responding. I've now received people messaging me saying, good luck, because when you Google search this, they come up first. And again, if they come up first, well, then so be it. That's what happens when, you know, a porn game studio decides to use my made up word. Uh, They're in a different country. I get it. There's there's something else here that gives me pause too. Before I get into that, I do want to make a point that I fully understand there are other subverses that exist, particularly on Steam. These, uh, so with this one, yes, I know about these. I know about these other instances and we have to weigh whether or not we're going to be, um, uh, hurt by this. In the instance of the subverse series, uh, the sci-fi series that was produced and launched on steam, it's a free to watch thing. It's really small. I think they have 60 followers on social media. So ultimately I don't want to be that person that goes around sending cease and desist letters to everybody. Cause I'm trying to avoid being what vice is called. It's like, look, they're not very big. They're a small company. They're trying to do their thing, but they haven't really gained traction. If they ever come to a point where they're actual, it, there's actual confusion between the brands, then we'll probably have to make some changes. And admittedly, over time, we'll have to probably ask them to change their name too. I get that. The issue here is that Subverse has displaced us uh, in terms of US search. 
they've displaced us. Uh, I'm, I'm, they, they've gained so much traction that they're displacing our videos. That when you search for Subverse, you no longer get our videos anymore, our documentaries. You actually get videos about the porn company. And also that there are websites related to the, the culture war that frequently cover me as well as now this game, which is new. So I want to bring up, let me see if, uh, if I have this. So um, I'll get to this in a second. In one instance on the Gamergate, uh, I think this is the Gamergate subreddit, Kotaku in action. Yes. Okay. Leaders of Gamergate. You can actually see that in their post about Subverse, there are people who are making references literally to me. And in a conversation I had with Sargon of Akkad yesterday, he said, congratulations on your fundraiser. He literally meant it. Like, wow, I heard you like smash some huge goal. And I'm like, dude, right. I get it. They're UK. You know, it sucks. Uh, it, it's tough. But this has actually become confusing to some people. One person in particular said, there's literally a comment here where they're like, I'm kind of confused. I don't understand. I thought this was Tim Pool's project. Now, here's what gives me pause. Okay. Studio Fow was banned from Patreon and issued a statement about it six months ago. I covered this story several times, especially when it came into issues of Sargon. I repeatedly brought up this story and how Studio Fow was banned. In my correspondence with Studio Fow, they said, you make crappy Jordan Peterson videos. The response I got from them was within a short amount of time for me messaging them. Messaging them. So I'm not sure it's, it's, you know, it's possible they just Google searched me and Subverse and that's what they got. So that's what he said. Or considering I have covered them and I do get a substantial amount of, I'm getting about 33 million views per month branded with Subverse, I think it's uh, entirely possible they knew exactly who I was and decided to use my name. While I don't want to accuse anyone of anything because I just don't know, I want to point out that in the course of dealing with this, to me at least, it's been raised to my attention as well. I think it's important to point out. I have covered this story months and months ago. They launched a new project. They're using my brand, which we have repeatedly promoted on every video I've done and potentially even the videos I've done that referenced them. And all of a sudden they've popped up, you know, using my brand name. I also find it kind of weird that they're a North American based company, but filed their trademarks and launched in the UK. I, I don't know. Maybe they're not North American based or what the issue is, but you know, there you have it. If you do a search on Reddit of Subverse, there's actually a mix of my content and theirs. So now there is real trademark confusion, which is hurting my company. And I'm going to end, uh, I'll just say a couple more things. This has been going on for a while. I want to raise money. I want Subverse to be a big, uh, a, a big company. I want to be able to hire people. I'm getting close to actually hiring my first person. I filed, uh, you know, corporate paperwork and, uh, and all these things for an, another S Corp, which is going to, uh, I'm, I'm doing the work. I'm doing the work to build things out and uh, moving from sole proprietorship and, you know, beyond, which means, you know, we're, we're, I'm almost ready to start hiring people. We've been producing Monday through Thursday content. We've got a bunch of shows in the pipeline. I want to do this. I need investors. I've had investors reach out to me. One of the problems I'm facing is that when it comes to Google searching Subverse, it's now a porn game. I understand if they're based in the UK and I didn't have the ability to do that, then again, I'm faced with the challenge of, do I just, do we just stop this? I've got probably 100 plus videos, uh, maybe 200 that are branded and promoting Subverse, which means by using my name, they have now essentially taken our search volume, which we have every one of these videos tagged with Subverse. They're now taking our search volume, which is, which is why I'm just like, I don't, I don't understand why they did this. I don't understand why they started using this name. We've been using it for years. I've tagged all of these videos. I've gotten tens of millions of views backed with this logo, pushing out this brand. And now that SEO is being pushed towards them. Maybe it's on purpose. Maybe that's exactly why they did it. But all I can say, I guess my final thought, I had to retain a lawyer. It's, it sucked up some of the resources we had that, you know, could have been used for these other projects. Like, please understand that flying out from, from the East Coast to the West Coast and staying at a hotel for several days to do these sit down interviews and spend the days working with, uh, to film with someone like Brett, it costs a couple thousand dollars per shoot. It's not cheap and it's not easy to do this. I am not making that much money on this content. I am not. It is a loss whenever we make a big video. And that's why most of the videos I do are sitting in a room because spending thousands of dollars to travel overseas and cover stories is extremely difficult. But on this, we, on this channel, we have on the ground reporting from France. We have footage that has gone, that has been picked up and syndicated. Let me, let me find this. Uh, where are we at? We've got videos from uh, explosion in France when a building exploded, 183,000 views. These things are expensive. And it's not something I can just snap my fingers and do. So I think I'm faced with a real, uh, uh, this is a serious problem for us. The only, there, there's, there's 
there's three potential outcomes, uh, three uh, highly probable outcomes. The one I'm hoping for is that Studio Fao just decides to lightly alter the name in some capacity. We have the SEO on this. I have branded Subverse. We have been generating traffic under the keyword for years. They are now, it is now funneling towards them. That's hurting my company. It's hurting my business. It's making it harder for me to reach out to people because we can't be searched for anymore. And it's, it's making it uh, harder for me to fundraise. I'm getting emails from people saying like, heads up, this is a problem. All right. So hopefully they just change the name. The second outcome is that we just have to challenge them, which I'm, which, which is happening. My, I, I've retained a lawyer. There's, there's going to be a legal battle now. Uh, it may actually bleed my resources dry, but that's a choice I have to make. Do we just say this channel is dead after we've gotten close to 100,000 subscribers, close to getting that silver play button, and say all of these videos of the brand have to be changed? We can't just leave them up if it's pushing SEO to a porn game and it's going to reflect negatively on us. Even if, even if we do win in the US, it's still a potential problem. So now I have to consider how much money I can put into a legal battle, which is admittedly not probably not enough, or just say, okay, a porn game launched, took, is using our brand, and we lose. We lose, uh, and, 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 and the reason I say that is, listen, when you're a porn company, it doesn't matter what your name is, you're already considered to be taboo on the internet for, in, in most capacities. They were banned from Patreon for being porn. Porn is considered bad branding. Investors don't want to be associated with porn. And if I send a message to somebody and that's what they see, it's just going to be an immediate shoot down. On their end, they're actually getting the association with a prominent up and coming media venture with someone who's been featured heavily and has, has I, I've pushed to 33 million views per month, the brand subverse. And when people search for it, it's going to them. So there you go. Every video I've made that said, make sure you, you follow us on subverse. Well, what happens when you search for subverse? You don't get us anymore. You get them. So every video I've made has been free promotion for them inadvertently. Again, I understand they're in the UK. It sucks. This is the real world. And that means that we may, we're facing the real prospect of having to shutter a project I've been working on for years that we finally got into a full, you know, Monday through Thursday program. Admittedly, before that, it was, you know, on a doc documentary by documentary basis. It was peripheral channels. It was uh, Twitter. But now we've got the ball rolling. We're, we're prepared to launch. And a couple weeks ago, porn game launches. So now it may end up that the legal battle we win can only go so far regardless. They've already told me they essentially, you know, don't care. They told me I make crappy Jordan Peterson videos. I think, I assume they know who I am. All of the promotion for Subverse is, not all of it, but now the search term is being put. Actually, yeah, look, they're number one on Google. So every video I've made where I've said, you know, find us at Subverse, our new channel, is now resulting in people searching for Subverse and it's going to them. Websites that have written and quoted me are now hosting content with them, with their brand and their name. And so ultimately this presents a problem. It may turn out to be the uh, shitty ramifications of the internet. You know, 50 years ago, it wouldn't matter if someone in the UK was operating a business using the same name as me, and I wouldn't take issue with a foreign company. But now that they're operating in the US, I have no choice. And again, I'll say it one more time. If I was Disney, if I had the resources of the mainstream media, if I had VC funding like Vox or BuzzFeed or any one of these leftist digital outlets that seems to get hundreds of millions of dollars at the snap of their fingers, sure, we could have easily gotten our international trademarks. Unfortunately, when you're trying to fight against the machine, you're not just fighting against the establishment who wants to destroy you and they'll lie and smear about you. You also have to deal with individuals who either on accident or on purpose will take your brand and destroy it through, through association. So uh, that, that, I, don't, I don't know. This has been a serious uh, point of stress for me as I'm seeing everything I've put into building a brand being effectively destroyed. And I know some people have said, oh, calm down, it's not being destroyed. But listen, I've been working for years to find people who are willing to invest in my projects, to find people who want to associate, and branding is the most important thing. That's why Vice filed legal paperwork against a small band called Vice Versa. Shane has always talked about the importance and value of brand. They didn't originally have vice.com. They had vice land. This is something I've done. I, I know about the importance of, uh, of branding, the, the importance of brand association. And this, it's just like a, it's, it's like getting stabbed in the gut. Look, I get it. 
you know, maybe, maybe it's just welcome to the real world. Welcome to business. You lose. My made up word is now associated with wacky galaxy and hot alien babes. And there's nothing I can do about it because they, they filed in the UK, a North American company with a British arm launched their UK game. And that essentially protects them from me saying, you know, don't, you know, stop. As, as it pertains to them operating in the US, I don't know. They're aware of me. They, 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 they made direct reference to me in my videos when I, when I talk, when I tried talking to them, they said they don't care. So I guess that's it. If, uh, if I end up, you know, at the very least, I'm, I'm relatively, uh, I'm, 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 this is trouble, you know? So look, this is a part of business. I get it. Um, maybe one day I'll have the resources of the mainstream media and I'll be able to actually successfully launch a company. But for now, it's fair to say that with the amount of money I'm looking to spend to try and defend my brand, we're probably screwed no matter what. Our association is going to be tarnished. Investment is going to be, near, you know, near impossible. Uh, you know, they'll operate in the UK regardless. And that's, that might be it. It might be, it might be the end. Um, I don't know. I'm not someone who gives up, so I'm going to spend the money. I'm going to spend what I can. Uh, I'm going to spend everything I can. But at the same time, you know, I, I guess I just will point out that means the production might, I don't know what's going to happen to production. Uh, right now we're working on some interviews with some intellectual dark web scientists, a couple of them, and this work is expensive and it means you don't get days off. It means you're flying constantly. And if I have to take the resources away from that round trip tickets to small cities where some of these scientists are, it's really expensive. You know, flying from New York to LA can be 500 bucks. But when you fly from a small town to a major city to a major city to a small town, that can be a thousand, two thousand dollars. If we want to do these and we want to have these videos and want to have these conversations, I need the money to do it. My ultimate goal is to avoid doing general hosted content. A lot of these videos are me sitting at a desk because we want to do real on the ground reporting. You'll notice that's few and far between because it's, it's the money. Well, now I have to spend money on protecting the brand in the United States or we have to stop using it. But at either, either point, it's a half an hour rant. I'll end by saying this. I made this video primarily because the, pa- the paperwork is to be filed and they're going to come out. They've got their own fan base and they're going to say, here's what we're doing. So before, you know, they come out and say, why is Temple doing this? I, I'm somebody who makes videos and I speak and I'm going to talk about exactly what, uh, exactly why I'm doing what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. I don't want people to think I'm just trying to go after the little guy or anything like that. This, I don't know how big Studio Fow is. I'm not really sure why they decided to use Subverse. It's a made up word. Maybe it's a coincidence that they stumbled upon the word. But here's the thing. In business, due diligence requires searching for the word. Before we, we launched and did everything we did, we did. We did search for it. And it was a dead, uh, dead trademark uh, that wasn't used since I think like 2009 or something like that. And we decided to, to run with it because it was a made up word with no association at the time. I would have to imagine these guys did their due diligence. I'd have to imagine they Google searched this. They knew what it was. And it's also entirely possible. Think about smart business. Think about trying to promote something new and think about the 33 million views per month I'm pushing towards Subverse and what you can do by capturing that SEO, search engine optimization. Every single one of these videos has Subverse tagged in it. That means YouTube knows that these, view, these videos get tons of views and it's going to recommend things related to or titled to Subverse. And that means traffic is being diverted from me to them. So I don't know. I don't know. It's been a point of uh, serious stress for me because I'm not some dude sitting around making porn. I'm someone who's desperately, you know, pushing as hard as I can towards something I'm passionate about to make a positive change. And if at the end of the day, our association is with this porn game because they've displaced us, then we lose no matter what. In which case, I've been, I, the, one of the first things I was asked by the lawyer is, is keeping your brand alive worth it? Because it's going to cost you a lot of money and perhaps the smartest thing you can do is shut down. That's a, that's a conversation you have with every lawyer. Is protecting your brand worth the money? I guess the answer is yes, because I don't know what else to do. It's been years of, of, of working on this and trying to make it happen. And unfortunately, I'm not a silver spoon, you know, motherfucker who can just come and drop money on this stuff. I'm not, I'm not, uh, you know, a Disney company. I'm not Hearst. I'm not Vice. I've got to start from the bottom. And then when someone pops up and does this, you lose. Welcome to the real world. So hopefully that's not the case. 
Hopefully they just say, hey, we're going to change the name. We don't want a conflict. But the first thing they said to me when I politely asked them was, send us your lawyers. And boom, there you go. Now I've got to, now I've got to drop several thousand dollars to even make a request to them to change the name. I'll leave it there. Uh, I'll have some more videos coming up in a few minutes. I'll see you then.